Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I show you how we can generate a table that is giving us all the names of the render components and the times they have been rendered. To build this, we are starting in the app.render component. Now, in here, I'm I'm first declaring a list of I child component. Of course, we haven't defined this interface yet. So let's go and do this. So adding a new, uh, I'm just adding a new class because I'm also going to create some classes that are implementing this interface. But let's just start with the interface. I child component. It won't have any members. Its main purpose is to be, a, yeah, its main and solely purpose is to be implemented by the, uh, how should I name the class? By the notify, uh, let's just say by the base component. So in this class, extends component base and implements the iChild component. But we don't only have component. We don't only have components here that we want to give an overview if they have been rendered. But we also have layouts. So here I'm going to create a new class. Call it layout component. Now this class will inherit or extend layout component base, but will implement also iChild component. The logic that these two classes will have will be the exact same. So they expect to get an app component as a cascading parameter. I call it just parent. Now, in order that this all things works, we need to enclose everything in here with the cascading value. And the value, of course, is this instance of the app component. So the this keyword. Now, if they are getting initialized, we are quickly checking if parent is not null, then we want to notify the parent that this component has been rendered. How can we do this? Here we have defined the list. Now, of course, somewhere this list has to get initialized. New list, I child component. And then in here, I define a method, call it add, it expects a parameter of type I child component. And it will just uh, I rename this quickly to child components. So child components, add child component, and then I call status changed. Otherwise, the UI wouldn't be updated. So now this method, we are going to call it from the base component here, add, and then again using the this keyword. And now we can just duplicate this code here for the layer component. So first of all, of course, we have to mark all the components uh, so that they either inherit base component or layout component. So main layout, layout component. And in the other cases, it will just be inherits component base. Ah, no, base component, yeah. Base component, 
survey prompt also inheriting base component counter Okay, so now let's go back to the uh, app component. So we are now getting here a list of all the components. Now, of course, we somehow want to give an overview of this. Therefore, here we are going to create a table and the table will be exactly the same as, a, as the fetch data. So I just quickly go back into the fetch data component and copy everything. Copy it from here and with exactly the same, I mean, just from the, from the styling. So we only have two columns. First is the component name and the second one is the times rendered. And then here we say, uh, what was the list called again? Child components group by now c stands for the child component c get type so that we have grouped them by type and then we order them ascending at order by descending the count that they have um, so the times they have been in the list and here component now first here is component dot key so that's the type and then just component count because that's a i grouping and an i grouping implements i enumerable so we can call the lynch extension methods on it so let's have a look So now we have an overview of all the components that have rendered on the index. So the main layout, the whole thing, nav menu, index survey prompt. Now, if I go to counter, we see the counter comes in. Uh, I go back now, because I go back, we should see two. Yes, fetch data, fetch data is rendered. So it comes into the list. And then uh, whenever I go to counter, the index and survey prompt is getting new one and main layout and nav menu are not getting rendered yeah they because main layout because nav menu is in the main layout it doesn't get rendered uh, twice it just gets rendered once uh, now if i would refresh of course we would start with zero so i hope i've shown you how we can uh, notify our parent component uh, what child component that uh, are rendered in it. Thank you very much for your attention.